Morning guys, so today we're going to be working on the hard top again. So I'm going to do some strengthening work. As you saw last time, I put in the quarter inch MDF, um, or the 5200, that's all dried in there. So I'm going to start to, to thicken it up. So I'll put the camera up and let you have a little look at what I'm going to do. Yeah. Hi, I'm Erica and this is my fiance Dave. We are living aboard our new to us hurricane damaged catamaran, Barefoot 2.0. We met in Fiji three years ago and have experienced so many beautiful places together. For the past two years, we've made the ocean our home, starting on our Catalina 36 in the States and the Northern Caribbean. We hope to one day circumnavigate the globe, but for now we are fixing our boat one step at a time. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. Okay guys, we're back at it today. Um, as you know, we've had a little bit of a break, so the mold has had plenty of time to dry. It's been laying out in the UV. The UV has actually helped really cure it. So I was able to sand the inside everywhere, the edges, clean them up a little bit. And then what I did after that is I wiped over with acetone. The next step, if you remember back to last week's video, I actually added these uh, glued in, these quarter inch MDF, uh, the waterproof type. Um, and this is the section I'm going to be working on today. So what I've done is I've just wetted the whole area out. Because we haven't worked with this epoxy for a little while now, it's all dried, so it's been sanded, acetoned, and basically reactivated by putting a wetting coat of the polyester resin on there first. So at this stage here, I was making some little fillets just to cover the edge of the quarter inch MDF, then laying glass over the top. We're making popcorn for the first, for the first time. time. Look at it go! It smells good. It smells really good. And they're bobbing. <laughs> That's funny, I'm scared. I'm, I'm putting the finger on the top of the bowl. Oh, they're going crazy. This is going to be the new thing on the boat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're going to make popcorn all the time, hey babe? <laughs> How weird is that that they do this? Alrighty guys, so this week we've been struggling a little bit to get work done on the hard top here uh, due to the weather. There has been a tropical storm passing on the south of uh, the Dominican Republic and it's, it hasn't really given us any problems apart from clouds, rain, um, and that's obviously hindered me here. Last time I left you we were working on this section here. It has a sharp edge so I was making like a filling fillet to go in there and then glassing over the top. After doing the first section, I can see that it's taking way too much time and also way too much of the, uh, of the filler, the adhesive filler that I have. Um, so what I decided to do was get the angle grinder out and I beveled the edge. So it's, it's tapered down towards the fiberglass. So instead of me having to build it up, we've used the wood to make the shape instead. So I'm just gonna go along very gently just on the small edges and around the corners here, and then I'll be able to lay glass in the top. So hopefully that's gonna speed the process up. But I've just, literally just sanded it and we have also vacuumed it out but it needs to be clean i need to uh, wash it with acetone first so i'm going to give it a good acetone clean up let it dry and then i'm going to try working again in these sections and let's see how it goes with today Always wear protective clothing, or if you like me, a pair of shorts. Hi guys, uh, hope it's not too windy. I'm out here on the dock, but I like a little bit of breeze as it does actually keep the, uh, the temperature down a little bit. Um, as you know, I'm supposed to be working on the hard top. Uh, last time I think I showed you, I was pretty much in about the same place. So I've done a lot of strengthening work. She's uh, 
nice and strong now. You can hear the di you can actually hear the difference. Um, but it's not finished, so I'm going to be continuing with that this week. But just at the moment, I'm doing a little project for a friend on a fellow boat. Uh, yeah, yeah, fellow sailor that's here with us. Um, he needs a couple of fiberglass panels made for his hard top. It's very, very simple. But I thought I'd show you what I was doing anyway, since it's part of my week. Um, so what I've done is all I need to do is make a simple mold. So I've got a piece of uh, half inch MDF here. And what I've done, because he's given me the measurements, he wanted 38.5 inches by 80 inches and just approximately a quarter inch thick. So what I've done is I've got a piece of this half inch MDF, quarter inch MDF, and all I did was simply mark the board up, screw these down, screwed a piece on the side. So that basically gives me a mold. Now this is a, more, a lot more simpler than the mold that we had for our hardtop, as it doesn't have the big curves or anything like that. So I'm not going to have to put fillets in or anything like that. But what I'm going to have to do is lay glass inside it here. Um, I have just uh, put a, and actually used a cor the correct materials, if you will, actually a proper mold release because I had a small bottle of it on board. So I've actually donated that to this job. It wasn't enough to do our hard top, but it's definitely enough to do this one. So we're going to cut some glass, lay that out so it's all ready. I need to make two of these. So I'm going to cut enough glass ready to do um, basically eight layers, four on each piece. And uh, let's see how that goes. Morning guys, so back at it. Today is Wednesday. Uh, you should be watching this video on Saturday if you've uh, pushed the little bell button so that you get notified. Um, anyway, so back to what I'm up to today. So there's a couple of different projects I'm working on. Um, this is the hard top, as I said, from my friend's boat. Um, I've laid four layers of glass, let it cure off and dry a little bit. It's still a bit rough around the edges. It was actually very difficult to work with it in the, uh, uh, the heat, the humidity and the wind was blowing everything around so it's been very very difficult but I'm gonna clean around the edges here with a grinder um, and then I'm gonna try and release this from the mold so we can see if the thickness really is uh, enough uh, and then we'll come back to that project maybe adjust it a little bit later on and then after that I'm gonna move to this project we're gonna put this one back on the table which is obviously our hard top which is what you're probably actually looking for uh, I'm gonna put this on the table we've got some paint that we want to experiment with so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go around with the sander and clean it up as much as possible um, clean up the edges as much as possible and then I'm going to put one layer I'm going to roll out one layer of paint on it to see how it sits and how it how it dries how it works with us and that should also give me the chance then to see any imperfections so that I could sand back and fix them um, just the bare fiberglass here is uh, a little bit difficult to see where the imperfections are When we took this out the mold there was a couple of places along the edge here where the um, the fillets to make the rounded edge um, obviously there wasn't enough wax or something so they caught on a little bit here here and here not very many places so i've got a real hammer this time up in the a full-size hammer full -size hammer um, oh my god to be honest i'd rather my little hammer but i'm not sure where i put it but I just want to try and that's it see? just remove some of this stuff before i do a bit of sanding and this was part of the mold as well that obviously didn't quite work but that'll come off with a sanding machine that'll be fine yeah so we'll give it a good sand over and this afternoon we're heading to the store um that's where i want to get some painting supplies we've got the paint um but i need some smaller rollers and uh, just a few bits and pieces like a roller tray or something to make it nice and easy so then uh, i think tomorrow morning we'll uh, we'll try and put a coat on here and see where the imperfections are that i missed with the sanding yeah. yeah, that's where one of the joins was, you know, it was uh, four foot sections. Yeah. And that's definitely where a join was there, because I bet that one's, yeah, that one's super smooth. There was no join. This one, yeah, that's a join as well. That's so a join. That's where they were. They're the areas that I really need to concentrate on and a little bit around the edges. The 
strengthening work from the inside still hasn't got very far because I have been helping a friend with another project, which you've seen. So, Davey, he is... Oh, that's like going in my face. Davey is a great person who always loves to go and help other people. And it's amazing. So he, this week he's fixed a bilge pump on a boat. He's gone to help with an engine service. He's helped with sails. He's done some fiberglassing work on another hardtop for another boat. So needless to say, it's hard to get Davey to do work on our own projects. He always loved to help other people out, which is fantastic. I hope if we needed help, someone would help us the way he helps people. Um, so what goes around comes around. But now I'm making him do some work on our own hardtop. <laughs> Isn't that right, babe? That's it. Just cracking the whip. Time to do some work on our own boat. <laughs> Hey Pops, I'm going to take you onto the boat when Daddy does the grinding so you don't get covered in dust, okay? Alright, so Davey asked for Sharpies, so I have three different colours. And the reason for the Sharpies, why do I need them? Because there's some imperfections on the hard top and he wants to draw around them just so he can use a bit of fairing filler just to oh I'm getting all dusty yeah I haven't cleaned it I'm doing now acetone <laughs> wash because we did the sand in that was the last thing we did yeah um, so today we do want to get a layer of a very thin layer of paint on so we can see any imperfections but while I go around with the acetone I can feel like here there is an imperfection so I'm going to use a little bit of fairing filler on that before we do the paint of course he chose the blue one. I brought two pink ones as well. Like there. <laughs> Problem is I'm wiping with acetone and then using the Sharpie. It is working. So I feel here. This is why I'm using the Sharpie at the same time. So I feel there is definitely, this is where the two in the mold, two plates were joined. And there's definitely a dip along here. So we can go across that. Um, this edge here, along here, I'm not actually going to do the fairing or the painting because we're going to join the two hard tops together. Yeah. I'm actually going to fiberglass them together, so I'm not going to waste paint and everything that's going to get ground back. Um, and also, once I fiberglass it, I'm going to have to rub it down again, um, do some fairing in the middle strip. So I'm not going to waste my time with that section. Okay mix up a little pot of uh, fairing filler just going to use the very fine one this time and I'm also I'm using because it's on the top side we've still got a little bit of epoxy left the west system the good stuff so I'm going to mix it up with that because uh, epoxy goes onto polyester very very well it dries and cures better and easier to sand um, so we're going to use just a little pot probably I don't know maybe four ounces of the uh, epoxy just to make this one up so when we go to town that will be dry when I get back be able to sand it again and then we'll be able to apply the primer straight away. Davey doesn't like really using the polyester. No, I'm not the biggest fan of polyester. I mean it's cheap. It's cheap and when you're doing a project of this size it's great um, but it's not it's not as easy to work with. It takes more time to dry and... I mean, some people are big fans of it but... What's going on puppy dog? Hi! She keeps getting longer. So, Davey keeps using my kitchen spoons for epoxy. What was that that you just said, babe? You I can, can have it one. back. You can have this one, babe. Because we don't we have only very got many. One left, I think. No, we have like three left. Yeah. So, remember always, um, every time you're mixing any of this stuff, whether it be polyester or. Um, what's it epoxy. called? Epoxy. Make sure you always shake the containers um, because they do settle slightly, even if it's just been overnight. Make sure you always give them a good shake up. Let's do oh. one, two, do five pumps. Thank you. 
I normally do about, so I've done five pumps, so I'm going to do five heaped five. spoons. Five? Really? Yeah, match it, five. That five. many? Yeah, it's about right. This is a really difficult job and it's windy because it goes everywhere. I mean, when it came out of the mold, it is really smooth, most of the places. Yeah. But there are some tiny little imperfections. Remember, we were working outdoors as well, which really isn't the best. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of dust and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. We've put this much effort into it. Let's try and make it as... perfect. Well, you're a perfectionist, babe. You'll look at it and you'll say, that's not perfect. It's not good enough. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again, again, again. So we're good with that. We'll let this one dry while we go and do a little adventure into town. Um, go pick up some more supplies and then uh, we'll get back to this this afternoon. Are you ready for an adventure? So Fox, are you going to show everyone how you helped Dad put the dinghy down? Fox! You're not going to help today. Normally she helps with the dinghy. <laughs> With the dinghy? <laughs> She's not doing it. She normally it's not actually a help. She normally actually holds it and I can't put the dinghy down. Good to go. Let's jump in. So, sorry it's a little bit dark, but it's um, Friday evening. We're trying to get this episode uploaded for you, ready for tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, but we want to make a massive shout out to um, to our patrons that have been looking after us for a long time. And also, there's been a few people this week that have found the donate button on, on our, website. our website. So thank you guys so much for that. It it puts a huge smile on our face, and it's just one of those unexpected things, and it means so much to us. It does. Bye, sorry, folks. puppy just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's grateful as well. Um, yeah. no, so just a massive thank you, thank so you to much, everyone guys. for supporting us, helping us through this difficult time. As you know, we are trying to work to pay for this. We're not really planning on relying for help. Yeah, but um, it makes a huge difference. So massive thank you, difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Love you so much. 